Hey guys, it's Mara, and this week's theme on Seven Genius Gymnasts is freestyle. So what I decided to do for freestyle is to show you my top 10 favorite skills and why I like them. So let's get started. So my 10th favorite skill is actually an illusion. And I really like illusions because it's more of a dance element than it is a gymnastic skill, but I also like doing dancing and making up dance routines and stuff like that. So, I mean, illusions are really fun to incorporate in that. And they're also really simple once you find the balance for them. They're really hard at first, but once you get the balance, it's really easy. And also they're fun and don't require stretching because I don't really like stretching for skills. My ninth favorite skill is a front handspring, step out front handspring, because they look really cool. I don't know, they just do. And they, they at one point, that skill made me more advanced in my tumbling group because um, everyone else worked on front handspring, step out round offs, or front walkover round offs. And I got to work out front, I got, I got to work on front handspring, step out front handsprings. And also, also, they are not as hard as they look, so once you have a front handspring, step out and front handspring. <laughs> my eighth favorite skill is a back walkover, because back walkovers are really fun to connect stuff with, like cartwheel step in back walkover, back walkover, back handspring step out, etc, etc. And also, um, in fifth grade, at recess, there was a little group of people, like me and my friends, we like to do gymnastics, and when I first got my back walkover in fifth grade, like, people thought it was so cool, so I just loved showing it off. <laughs> So yeah, and also, back walkovers are, like, just look so cool. Like, I My favorite skill is a back handspring, because it took me, like, over a year to get my back handspring, and I was just so happy when I got it. And, um, they're just super fun to do. Like, back handsprings are just so much fun once you get them. All you want to do is back handsprings. And it also made me more advanced in my tumbling group, because, um, when everyone else was getting spotted for back handsprings and round-off back handsprings, Leanne and I actually got to work on, like, round off multiple back handsprings and, like, back tucks and all that stuff. My sixth favorite skill is actually just a cartwheel because they are, like, super easy and basic. Um, they don't require stretching because, again, I don't really like stretching to warm up for skills. And also, um, they're very basic and you can just do them everywhere because they don't require stretching. And, you know, like, if you're just, like, walking in the mall or once I was walking in Target and I just kind of did a cartwheel, so. They, you can do that. favorite skill is a front walkover because um, it only took me one day and like three tries to get because I had a really strong front limber and I've been doing front limbers for a while and we never really worked on front walkovers and um, they're really graceful like if you watch any type of graceful gymnastics video like a front walkover was something that was in that video if that person had a front walkover and also in fifth grade at recess I also like to show this off to my friends because I got it like two weeks before my back walkover and so <laughs> My fourth favorite skill is a front handspring step out because they don't require too much stretching like well they do for some people but for some reason I do not need to stretch my back before doing front handspring step outs. I don't know why but they're super fun to do even though mine doesn't look very good. My knees are bent but they're just really fun to do. That's also something that I just like to do in Target. <laughs> Sometimes I just do front handspring step outs and um, it took me a little while to get because I thought like I taught myself how to do a front handspring and I like I don't know it was just kind of hard to me. Because I thought of a front handspring step out more of a front handspring than more of a back handspring. My third favorite skill is a back handspring connected to a back handspring step out because they're like cool. Like they just look really cool. And um, it took me a while to get my back handspring step out because I don't know why, but I still don't have my back handspring step out very well. And um, it's a more complicated skill for me personally because my back handspring step out don't, doesn't look too good. So, but yeah, when I do, when I can do them, like they, it's just. Not <laughs> My second favorite skill is a double back handspring because um, they're really fun to do. Like, I don't know, they're just really fun. And a lot of people like that see me do gymnastics, they think that I'm such a graceful gymnast and like that's all I can do. But when I do double back handsprings, it kind of shows the powerful side of me, if you know what I mean. And also, it's more of an advanced skill and it, like, I don't know, it was, it, it was just more advanced. Uh, that also made me more advanced in my tumbling group and stuff like that because, I don't know, I kind of had to get over a mental block to get it. But when I finally did it, it was just really fun. So my all-time favorite skill is a side aerial because um, they're like super fun to do. Like I just always want to do side aerials, and it's also a dance element as well as a gymnastic skill because if you guys have ever watched Dance Moms, like I like teach myself how to dance from Dance Moms, and like I just like side aerials are just like part of dances. And I also think it looks really cool, 
And also, it took me over a year to get, but we didn't work, work on side aerials like we worked on back handsprings. So, I mean, it didn't take me as long to get. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and also check out my personal channel. Today is actually my one year anniversary on YouTube. So, yeah, um, don't forget to check out my personal channel because I have a really cool video celebrating my one year anniversary on YouTube. So, yeah, bye. Oh.